If there is an act of omission or commission by the company where the independent director either has given his consent or was aware uh, and he should have exercised due diligence. Now, uh, the independent director sits on the board and he uh, uh, sees reports. That's basically what he sees. So, um, two things here. I mean, one is uh, to the extent where you say that very, whether he was aware or not, so whether it was in the board papers, whether it was discussed in the board, that, that can be established. Whether he exercised due diligence or not, and there are certain um, so th there are certain acts which, which you pointed out require scrutiny by him, like valuation, uh, financial risk uh, management process, etc. Needs scrutiny by independent directors. Uh, I don't think that is practical, because the independent directors can ensure whether there is a process, whether there is a uh, the whole system of financial risk assurance or valuation, whether it's been done with the proper assumptions, etc. Beyond that, it is not possible for him to see. So. This approach of uh, immunizing the independent directors has to be demonstrated by the enforcement agencies. Then only it will bring confidence that that is what they mean, and beyond a point, they will not go after the independent directors. And some of the actions of the enforcement agencies recently is not helping. Yes. So, uh, uh, what is the yeah. So we don't see that approach. So that there is a concern there. Uh, the uh, responsibility is becoming so onerous that uh, independent directors are not uh, you know, keen to get on boards. So a couple of thoughts I have on them. One is on remuneration you asked. I think remuneration, uh, the independent directors must be paid a commission because uh, this is all about business. Everybody is getting remunerated in the business in a reasonable way. I don't see why independent directors should be uh, you know, deemed above remuneration. So uh, I mean, there are some approaches like that. So I think the, you know, a reasonable commission has to be paid in terms of remuneration. Uh, the other thought I have is, Possibly, because we do have this problem of getting the right people. So possibly, you know, there is a system of corporate governance rating. So not many companies do it. Uh, some agencies give a corporate governance rating. Uh, turns out quite expensive, actually. Check with some of them. But uh, maybe we have to think about those things to give confidence to independent directors. You know.